guys well it's sunday and i wasn't actually going to film this bit of the video today because to be honest i didn't have the best start to the day i woke up feeling super anxious this morning and i actually felt a bit anxious when i went to bed last night and i couldn't for the life of me like pinpoint what it was specifically like in general i've been feeling so positive about everything very much like as a result of my knee getting better and being able to move more and i just feel way more like myself again I do think sometimes anxiety is just not explained at all. I went to meet Megan and I at the bakery near to where we live and just, I think just like switching up your scene can sometimes just make you feel so much better. And also just chatting about things and like being open about things. And I kind of went and just said like, oh, I've been feeling a bit like this this morning. And suddenly it's like just getting other people's perspective on things sometimes is just really helpful. So. Yeah, I feel way better now. I then came back and then Elliot and I went for a little walk to an area that we hadn't been to before. Actually not that far away from our house, but there's like a little footpath lane thing, which we thought we'd never been down because basically since we moved to this area, I haven't been able to like do a lot of walking. So if we have done walks, they've been like very, very close by to our house, like not been very far. But yeah, this was a little bit different. So. I've come back and I thought I am actually feeling like I could tackle the rest of the wardrobe and I know you guys enjoyed part one of the video and I really enjoyed it as well. I think I said in the last video but I just love watching like organisation sort of things. I feel like it really inspires me to have like my own clear outs and organise stuff as well. So we're back for part two. Hoodies and sweatshirts. I'm just looking at them thinking, God, it looks like there are so many in there. Hoodies, sweatshirts and trousers, I think. And also just like reorganizing bits of my wardrobe that just look a bit messy now. Like I've took loads of stuff out of my sports clothing drawers and they're just kind of everywhere. The other thing I've been thinking over the last few days, I might need other people's opinions on it so let me know what you think about it but moving around this room and I feel like I haven't really shown you this room that much because to be honest it's sort of acted as our storage room which is a bit of a pain because it's meant to be like a lovely office that I work in but something about the vibe at the moment is very unfinished this room and I know I've like spoken through potential plans for it before but it kind of looks like one of my plans basically is I really want to wallpaper the room and I want to put shelves up and there are a few bits that are just like we've got a plug socket in the middle of the wall over here also this Ikea piece of furniture has like served us really well in the past especially at our old flat but I'm thinking I could buy something off Facebook marketplace and redo it lovely like brass handles like a beautiful mirror above it and things like that but I think for now until I'm at the point of actually doing that one thing that could be really nice to do is reshuffle the furniture in this room i will go through this properly and like show you it all but i've got a mirror basically right next to where my desk is which is distracting at the best of times like having a mirror right here but also when i look in the mirror my desk chair like actually obstructs my view so i'm like what's the point having the mirror there if i can't even like probably see myself in it so yeah we can see but for now let's get cracking with part two of organizing my study wardrobe room also just reminded me because it was sat on my desk but we've been having a nightmare of a time with wiffy and this new collection the whole thing has been very frustrating to say the least but there is a new collection on the way i know i have spoken through it with you before here is a little glance at the new colors coming i don't think i've shown you anything to do with the colors i have definitely shared a little bit more about like the color palette and stuff on instagram but yeah they are coming they are coming very soon we have obviously got the scents ready we are just perfecting the labels and trying to just make sure the boxes are a bit thicker and a couple of other things but yeah there are a few bits that have been like very much out of our control like there was like a national glass shortage which is obviously not very helpful when your candles are made in glass jars but yeah we've got lots of improvements coming to them so yeah i'll speak to you about it properly in another vlog do you know what i really feel like that 
those shelves are like deceptively big. Do I mean big or small? Like you think, yeah, they, yeah, deceptively big. Um, there are so many hoodies here and one of the issues, and it's a very, very great issue to have is that Elliot, my boyfriend, he has a clothing brand called Mutual Differences. Every single hoodie they launch, which is, has been quite a lot of hoodies over the last like year or two, I get like a version of it in my size, which is obviously absolutely amazing. And I know like a lot of people would be like, why are you complaining about that? I'm not complaining about it, but it does mean that they are like very thick, heavyweight hoodies. I mean, I'm wearing one now and the gray hoodie that I was wearing in the last video is also mutual differences one. I feel a bit out of breath and I've got no idea why. I can't really just <laughs> keep them all in here. Like obviously I don't wear them all at the same time. And I think what I'll do, because obviously I'm not going to be getting rid of any of these, I will put them in like under bed storage. So we're going to do one shelf at a time and we'll go through everything and just see whether there's still things I use. First thing I spotted, which I definitely don't wear anymore, but I've had this for years and I still absolutely love it, is this really cool fleece with like a yellow embroidery, which was originally from Urban Outfitters, but I just don't wear it anymore. Another grey hoodie, which was from Elliot's clothing brand basically before they rebranded. So you'll see what I mean. Like this is another mutual differences one and I just wanna keep them all because they've all just got such cool like prints on them. We've got a grey one, the pinky one, which is just the design on this. I just think it's so cool. And Elliot designed it all by himself. He's just very good at these things. I know a lot of people really wanted to know where that hoodie was from at the time but i'm pretty sure they're all sold out because it was a summer last year one but very cool things to come from them i actually wore this quite a lot when he launched it but i'm gonna put that in the pile to go under the bed because i just don't reach for it at the moment oh this hoodie i like really struggle with the idea of parting ways with this because I had this all through uni and I actually bought it secondhand at the time. Oh, this pale blue mutual differences one. I adore this colour. I really hope he does more things in this colour because I just think it's lovely. This is the tracksuit that Elliot got me for Christmas. Was it this year or was it last year? I think last year. Do you know what? A lot of my clothes smell really quite musty. So I, <laughs> I might have to whack a few of them in the wash. Another really cool sweatshirt that I used to wear all the time, but I haven't been wearing this at all. Having said that though, I do think it's quite like a summery sweatshirt. So I'm gonna keep it in my wardrobe just because obviously the weather is getting a bit warmer. Definitely don't need that super dry hoodie because I've got two almost identical. My favorite new sweatshirt from Amsterdam, definite keep. I've got two sweat, well a sweatshirt and a hoodie here. And actually, after talking about the fact that Elliot obviously owns a clothing brand, my stepsister Georgia also owns a super popular, pretty like well-known brand now called Named Collective. I don't know if any of you've got pieces from them. So I really don't wear a lot at the moment and I'm absolutely not gonna be getting rid of them because I feel like they are both quite like versatile pieces, but I think I might put them under the bed for a bit and then hope in a couple of months, I'm kind of in a bit of like a refresh sort of thing with them. And one is this kind of beige color sweatshirt. Do you know what? This is another color that I just don't really know if I suit, but I don't know if like anyone, is this like anybody's actual color? Like I love wearing it, but I'm like, I don't know if I actually suit this color. And then the other one is this really cool pale blue like fleecy one which oh, i actually adore this like, i really really love it but like i said i've kind of stopped reaching for it recently so we might put that under the bed depending on space i think i'm gonna find this a lot harder to narrow down than all my other stuff I think I'm gonna make a section which is more like hoodies and sweatshirts that I wear to the gym. So I feel like that will help me a little bit with organization. But first up, we've got actually two of these. One Elliot said I could have just before we moved to Amsterdam, but I'm just gonna check the size on it because 
What I've realised with boys' hoodies is there's like an oversized hoodie on a girl and there's like a hoodie that's so oversized that like the bottom of it is just really, really long. So I might need to be a bit picky about it, but he basically gave me the like black gray version of that from represent as well so the quality of these are really amazing like you will have seen me wear this creamy one plenty of times before but even this one is oversized on me so i'm not sure whether <laughs> the black one is just going to be a little bit too oversized but definitely keeping my one and then i'll put elliot's in a maybe pile i will give it a proper like try on afterwards i still wear this every single summer from i don't know how you say the brand but like et's i think it is i just really really love it i feel like it's such a cool piece and i always get those questions so where this is from this chocolate represent hoodie i'm actually going to put this on depop because i just don't wear it to be honest um, this green fleece, which I love. Super easy to just throw on over things. I absolutely wore this to death, but <laughs> I feel like it's just a really good gym sweatshirt. Like I seem to be warming up in sweatshirts all the time at the moment. So it's quite hard to like let go of ones that I feel like are really good for the gym. And this Lululemon zip up is just such a practical one because it doesn't ruin your hair when you take it off, but it's still a hoodie. And it's a really lovely, like slightly cropped length. Right, another grey mutual differences hoodie. That I definitely don't need both out. So I'm gonna keep this one out because this is a more recent launch. And I'm gonna put the other grey one under the bed. This fleece, I'm not sure about this because I actually do wear it quite often, but it's really seen better days. Like it does not wash well, this kind of material at all. Uh, this was actually from Nimble Activewear, but it's just, if you look at it up close, it's just a little bit on the ruin side. <laughs> so I might put it in the maybe pile. I right, I feel like I'm doing a little bit better with the tracksuit bottoms, to be honest. I've got two blue pairs one from pangaya i think the brand is i got sent this as a tracksuit in lockdown i've actually got the hoodie up there and i still really really love it to be honest but i just don't reach for it at the moment but it's not that's not to say that i won't at some point mutual differences blue tracksuit bottoms which are beautiful fit but just don't wear them at the moment they obviously go with that hoodie i've got a few pairs of like quite old gray ones it's another pair i've already put in the charity shop pile and i'm gonna part way with these because i always think to myself i'll save them for like a muddy walk sort of thing when do i ever go on walks like that and if i do obviously i can just wear some dark colored tracksuit bottoms and wash them so i've got my name collective beige tracksuit bottoms which I don't reach for much at the moment. My favourite tracksuit bottoms at the moment, which are my mutual differences ones. Grey super dry ones, which match that sweatshirt, but these are a pair that I really don't wear. At the you know what? I've had these black Tala ones for ages, and my sister's actually got them in grey, and they're a really nice fit. The only thing I'd say is I feel like, I'm only five foot four, but I feel like they've always been like a tiny bit too short for me. I might try them on again and just see if I'm like, can reignite how I feel about them <laughs> because they're actually really flattering shape. And I like that you can kind of wear them out the house and they look a bit smarter. Like if you wear them with like a black top or a jumper, they sort of look like trousers. <laughs> I'm gonna start reloading all of this back into here and then we can see how we're doing for space. Cause obviously I do actually have a fair amount of space here.
so I did that last bit on the phone to my dad, so I didn't go through everything with you, but I've got this pile, which I've decided I do not need any more, just things, jeans that don't fit me really well, which means they don't make me feel good when I'm putting them on, pretty much, just because I feel like if you're constantly like adding a belt or being like they don't quite fit me on the waist or they're too long or something, it's just a lot of faff that I feel like I don't need in my life. I'm gonna show you a few of the ones that I'm getting rid of. They're all really nice pairs as well. Like all pairs I've usually got a lot of wear out in the past, but. First up, this misguided pack. Do you know what? These actually do fit me really well. They're really nice, like smaller waist baggy leg pair of jeans. And the other leg has got like a rip in them. But I don't think they look very good on me, which I don't understand. I actually bought them because uh, Sarah Ashcroft, who's like a content creator and yeah they look really lovely on her but i just don't think that they like do a lot for me got this pair which i keep meaning to wear and i've just never worn which to me just says that i probably won't wear them very often but pinstripes pair from fourth and reckless still the label on and they've got like a little turn up thing at the bottom but yeah they literally brand new <laughs> so if you're up for a kind of pinstripe pair of suit trousers also just a reminder a lot of you actually bought a lot of the stuff that I put on my Depop last time, but I will link it in the description box of this video. But it's just depop.com forward slash Annie Openshaw is my kind of handle on there. This lovely dark pair of jeans, which were from Zara, and these are really soft and comfortable. They go really well on my dark denim jacket, but they are so long for me that I just locked off the bottom and they still drag on the floor. And this pair of trousers, I loved when I got them, but they have seen better days. <laughs> a sequin pair of trousers from Zara. I think I'm gonna put on this chocolate brown pair of Zara trousers, which is so lovely. Like they're like a smart pair of trousers. For some reason, I just, I think I've worn them out of the house once because I just can never find like a good way of styling them. I can never really figure it out. So I don't know whether I, hold on to them and then just try and find things that go with them or just give them to a new home. But I think maybe I'll put them, do you know what? I'm gonna list those, I am gonna list them. If I want another pair of chocolate brown trousers, I can always look into getting another pair. Black suit trousers, which I love. My leather trousers, which I love. So this is the situation that we've got. And I've very much got things that I wear left here. Like that section sorted. Then you will have seen that I've organized this section and it feels like weirdly sparse. Like I don't know whether to condense them into less sections, but then at the same time, like I feel like it keeps it nice and tidy when there's space above it. Whereas when it's full, that's when it gets really messy. Also, whilst I was clearing out, I actually ended up just being way more ruthless with things that I just don't wear at all. So things that I was like on the fence about, like this jumper, I'm actually just gonna get rid of this because I've got like five gym hoodies that I've added in to this section. I just don't need another one, which is probably something I'm not gonna go for as much. We've just got a lot of stuff here, but that is just looking so, so satisfying to me. One thing in my maybe pile are these really lovely Zara trousers, which as you can see, I've never worn, but I bought them. Well, they came separately, but they're kind of a set with this little waistcoat top, which I have worn once before, but I feel like this top looks way better with the matching trousers, but I do remember trying on these trousers at the time and thinking they don't really fit me. And then I'd miss the returns thing on them. Um, sorry, I think I just said fit me and I meant suit me. So I might just give them another try. And if not, I'm gonna sell the set. I think this is honestly like the most beautiful little thing, but I just don't get the wear out of the top without having the matching trousers. But do you know what? I'm so glad that I tried this little top and trousers on because I really love it. Like. I actually think maybe the trousers are a teeny little bit too big for me on the waist, but I feel like that kind of like slouchy look is actually nice. <laughs> but yeah, imagine it with like some trainers on or like chunky sandal kind of things. And I think I'm gonna keep this. I feel like I just didn't love the shape of the trousers. I think it threw me that, as you can see, there's like not like a button bit here. 
And I remember at the time being like, oh, I don't know how I feel about that. But I actually think it's really cute. Obviously, excuse the kind of hair vibe we've got going on here. But if I was a bit more like done up, could be a good little summer kind of like barbecue. Probably a bit smarter for a barbecue, but like a summery outfit. I just had a quick look through my bikini swimsuit box and... Although I'm definitely not ready to like go through them all and try them on. I remember last year that I didn't really wear this shape of bikini at all. Like I didn't reach for these. And uh, they're kind of like, I wouldn't say they're like low waisted, but I say they're like mid waisted <laughs> sort of bottoms, which yeah, like I said, I just don't really go for at the moment with a lovely scoop neck top. So if you do go for this shape, I am going to sell this blue one, a little one with sunflowers on, there's an orange top, I don't know what happens to the bottoms of this one, but if you've got anything that goes with that top or you like mix and matching, just to be fair, the blue and the orange are probably quite cool together, um, then I've got a little orange top as well, and then this one has the same shaped bottoms, and then this one has got a, like a little classic kind of triangle top super cute but they're all gonna go up on my depop just paused to make us dinner we have gone for niles brand the good bites creamy harissa chicken pasta he said it's a really good one and it's a bit like lighter and this is the result i feel like the colors because it's getting a little bit darker like a, a bit more washed out but it smells and looks absolutely amazing i did the chicken in the air fryer which is basically i found like the easiest way to cook chicken at the moment but yeah this looks absolutely amazing we can't wait guys this is the pale green like pistachio green set that i've got on today which you will have seen in the part one of this clear out my wardrobe thing and i said that i felt like i was still gonna wear it and today's the first time in i'm gonna say two years maybe that i've actually put it on no maybe it's not quite two years anyway a long time that i put it on and i feel well it's just very very comfortable i'm not sure if i'm quite confident enough at the moment to wear it to the gym but a home workout i'm going to do later on i feel like it's just absolutely perfect for good morning guys well it's tuesday and i've actually just been editing the footage for like the clear out wardrobe sort out part i'm actually thinking in terms of wardrobe clear out video content i am gonna split this into three parts just because i think that's probably the best way of doing it without like the whole video just being me like clearing out clothes the whole time so on sunday this week i will have part three up but yeah it's tuesday and i have just been doing some work at my desk today quite a lot of editing emails coaching client kind of things what's the post office to send a lot of your depot orders and i actually just came back with this which i carried home i carried it home we don't have a car at the moment and i just saw it and thought well it's like a 12 minute walk back <laughs> but it was eight pounds 50 outside the charity shop and we actually really needed another clothes rack because our clothes rack here it well it looks kind of big there but it's very small and you can only really do one wash and put it on and i'm not about just doing one wash at a time i feel like if i'm in washing mode like i want to do oh god i want to do like five washes at a time so yeah that was an interesting thing that happened to me this morning the charity shop in the village that we live in is just the best charity shop i've ever been in and i don't know whether it's because it's very like standalone and there are not really many other shops in the area to be honest there are very very few shops and like amenities in our village anyway everyone seems to donate to that charity shop more often than not i will end up coming out that charity shop with something i just thought i'd get this to show you but this was my purchase the other day really needed a shorter vase and it went in that shop and two pounds how good is that how this really random craving today for a salad but like quite a specific salad like a sweet potato kale either like halloumi feta or mozzarella as the cheese and walnuts very very niche but just really really started craving it annoyingly i couldn't find kale at our like village shop 
but I know I do have letters in the cupboard, but I did find halloumi. So I'm gonna do it with halloumi. I'm gonna do loads of sweet potato. I've put the oven on already. One of my tips at the moment is if I'm making things like sweet potato or like rice or some kind of protein like salmon or chicken, or sometimes tofu as well. Rather than cooking just the amount I need for whatever I'm making that day, I will just cook a big batch of it. So it kind of acts as meal prep, which means that if I have another recipe, you know, maybe I want salmon with sweet potato for dinner, I might already have the sweet potato cooked from the day before or whatever. So it actually saves a lot of time because I feel like sometimes the barrier to making yourself a really healthy, like nutrient dense meal over something that's quick and easy is the time it takes. Like if you want something quickly, like if you're making something you're already hungry, but you know like roasting sweet potato is gonna take like near enough half an hour, then just having like a selection of pre-cooked like carbs, protein sources, veggies, I mean, you can honestly do it with literally whatever, is just a bit of a game changer. Very simple, not groundbreaking hack, but one that I have been, well, it's been like saving me at the moment. Look at all this sweet potato. So this is gonna go in the oven. I've actually been using the air fryer for this a lot recently, but my air fryer is quite small. So if I've got a lot of sweet potato to do, it's not ideal. So just gonna put some olive oil on this. I'm not gonna go overboard with it. This actually comes out in a very thin drizzle from this bottle. Then salt. And pepper. And then finally, paprika. I'm gonna chop up my halloumi. I've just done a third of a block and get that in the air fryer. Just a note about this salad as well. I feel like the air fryer, honestly, <laughs> has become my absolute obsession and I have been using it for a year now, but I kind of thought that if you put a chicken breast in there, it'd make it really dry and it actually is just like the best way to cook it and you just whack it in. A bit of seasoning, tiny, tiny little bit of oil and it just comes out so well. I have no idea how long this will take because I'm pretty sure I haven't done halloumi in the air fryer before, but it's probably like seven minute kind of thing. I'm actually gonna add some green beans as well. I think I've spoken to you about this. Like, I think I've spoken about it on YouTube, but one of my goals this year, in fact, I'm pretty sure I have, is to eat more fruit and vegetables which sounds ridiculous in a way because i think i've always eaten like a ton of fruit and vegetables as you know i'm pretty passionate about gut health i've actually been listening to tim Spector's book who is i don't know what he actually is whether he's like a nutritionist or dietitian but he's basically a scientist his main sort of area of expertise is food and gut health and there's basically research into the fact that eating around 30 varieties of plants each week is amazing for your gut microbiome. So that is something that I'm trying to do. So with this salad, I'm trying to add extra varieties of things. Like I might have just done like lettuce and cucumber or kale and cucumber, but I'm also gonna put green beans in there. I'm gonna have walnuts in there. We've got sweet potato. I'm gonna put some coriander. So things like nuts and herbs also count towards your 30 varieties a week. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely don't go through and count them every single week. I mean, I might just try and calculate them for this week just to see how well I'm doing so far. But it has definitely made me think a lot more about variety and just picking different things for each meal and just making sure that each meal is packed full of lots of different types of fruit and veg rather than, you know, just relying on like garlic and onions and peppers. I mean, not that I only ate that, but you know what I mean. Just broadening my the range that I'm eating. I've got coriander that needs eating. So I'm gonna chop some of that up. And for dressing, I've actually got a little bit left of this dressing that I made the other day. I've just been reusing the whole jar. But it's basically like tahini, olive oil, lemon, a little bit of mustard, some maple syrup, what else is in it? Salt, pepper, uh, and I'm just gonna add to it and kind of make a larger quantity because there's still a bit left in it. Some agave for some sweetness. 
and that to be honest is probably all good we'll just give that a good shake so this is what it looks like all plated up i actually added beetroot in the end because i thought it would taste nice with this but i'm very very first of all hungry but <laughs> also excited to eat this a little bit of this dressing just to make it all taste absolutely unreal and that is what i call a good salad like i know all these flavors are just going to taste amazing together you've got the sweetness from the sweet potato like vinegary sourness from the beetroot because it's a pickled beetroot saltiness from the halloumi lots of fresh greens crunchiness from the walnuts and yeah that is going to be an amazing lunch so i just did a mini workout outside to be honest i don't really feel like i've got the most energy today but i had a little iced coffee before and it was okay like and that's completely fine i feel like i'm trying to be a bit kinder to myself in terms of like times that i've got more energy times that i've got less energy and rather than kind of fighting it and being like oh why don't i just have more energy just kind of going with the flow and accepting that your body especially as a woman is not the same throughout the month like your energy levels are not necessarily the same i mean maybe they are for some people the strength isn't always the same and today was just one of those days where i just honestly felt really weak but the main reason i got it done anyway is because i have been really working on my pull-ups i say really working on them i've done them three times but i about three years ago now no no probably like four years ago now i actually managed to get my first pull up i think i could do like two or three in a row but to be able to do them i basically practice and practice and practice so i was probably practicing them like twice a week maybe sometimes three times a week just going at it like moving up through different resistance bands through assisted pull-ups and then eventually i was able to do a pull-up i don't think it's something that comes particularly naturally to me i don't know if it does to that many people though to be honest and I've kind of said to myself, because I'm back into a good routine with training, feeling a bit better about myself and just, yeah, proper like fitness era again. I said to myself that I really want to get my pull up back. So outside, as I think I showed you last summer, Elliot actually installed, I'm not going to go out and show you properly, but Elliot installed a pull up bar here, which caused a lot of tension at the time. He actually wanted to put it on this lovely white wall. Um, and I said no. So he's ended up putting it on this side wall. And when you're outside, it's honestly not that noticeable, but it's a hefty pull-up bar. The only issue with this pull-up bar is that he's put it really high, which is fine for him because he can get up and use it just with like a little step. But for me, it's honestly so high that I have to get a step ladder out every single time. But I got it done, got some pull-ups done, did a couple of other exercises, and I actually just did a fair amount of stretching. I didn't film on this camera, but I did film it because I want to try and make like a little reel out of it for Instagram. So I'll put the footage here so you can see what I did. But I'm not naturally flexible and I just am very aware that I'm putting my body through a lot at the moment. I have had a lot of mobility issues as a result obviously of my knee situation and prioritizing things like stretching are just the way to go for me at the moment. So I've just seen this at the corner of my eye and I thought I'd show you quickly <laughs> but my stepsister had a you know like a pottery painting party 
uh, back in November, but I hadn't seen her for ages because obviously we've been living in Amsterdam this year. And she came around for Easter Sunday with some, I thought there was someone looking at me through my window then. Uh, she came around Easter Sunday with some of my other family members and brought with her what I had painted. And I just find it quite funny because obviously we don't have a pet. <laughs> and I basically did like a little dog or cat, like water bowl or food bowl. We know we're gonna have a pet one day. But yeah, how cute is this? And I'm thinking when Basil and Bluebell or other dogs in my life, like little Penny that we look after sometimes, the cockapoo, what other dogs do we look after? Hank, who's a golden doodle. When they come and stay at our house, we can utilize the bowl. And I know a lot of you always say, surely you're gonna get a dog at some point. I would love to be like, oh yeah, maybe, and be planning it in the background. It's definitely not at that stage, mainly because we wanna do more traveling. And as much as a dog or a cat would just fulfill me so much when we're here, I am not at the point in my life yet where I feel like I can have the tie of that. I feel like people really underestimate how much of a tie a dog is. I mean, a cat as well, but in a different kind of way because cats are super independent. But yeah, having a dog at the moment, I think would just kind of scupper all of our future kind of plans and dreams over the next couple of years. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna wrap up this video. There will be a part three coming. I'm gonna do a whole other rearrange everything. Elliot said it'll help, help me move my furniture over the next like day or two as well. So hopefully on Sunday, I will see you for part three of organizing my study wardrobe room.